Welcome to this real-time setup tutorial for Faceware Studio. The real-time setup panel is generally the first place you're going to go when launching Studio, and it's where you choose your footage to be tracked, whether it's a live camera feed or a pre-recorded piece of media. When you launch Studio, you'll see this as the default workspace. The real-time setup panel is over here on the left. If you ever close it and need to open it back up, you can do so by going up to the Pathfinder bar at the top and left-clicking the video button, which will open and highlight the panel. Alternatively, you can go to the View menu, Panels, and select Real-Time Setup. The main thing we need to do here is select our input. For a live streaming video feed, we're going to make sure that live is selected and then choose our camera in the drop down menu. You'll see the panel populate with some information, most notably the resolution, and your video will appear in the viewport. If you're using pre recorded footage, then you're going to want to click the media button and then select whether you're using a video file or an image sequence. In either case, Studio will open up an explorer window and you can choose your video file, or if you're using an image sequence, you'll choose the folder that contains the images. Note that a timeline appears so you can scrub and control playback of your footage. Just like with the live option, you'll see the resolution and frame rate. For video files, the frame rate is grabbed directly from the video, but for image sequences, you'll have to manually select it from the real-time setup panel. The last thing to keep in mind here is the optimize for real-time option. Checking this on will reduce the resolution of the footage while maintaining the correct aspect ratio to free resources on your computer. This helps keep the highest tracking and video frame rates possible, which are essential to getting good results. And that's all it takes to set up your footage in studio. Once you've got your footage set up, you're ready to move on to the next step, which is to set your calibration and start tracking the performance. And we'll cover that in the next tutorial.